So I want to introduce Johnny O'Connell. He's our new Automotive Systems Technology Instructor here at Southeastern Community College, and we're so fortunate to have such a decorated automotive instructor. Uh, Johnny comes to us from Wilkes Community College where he had just a stellar career in developing that program and really overseeing all that it entailed with automotive training. So, Johnny, welcome to Southeastern Community College. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. And you, you started with us, I guess, May of this year. Is yes. that correct? And so you've had the summer to really start getting involved a little bit in the community, meeting a few people, uh, trying to figure out how we're going to develop and pull this together. And now, look here, we are sitting in an automotive shop that, guess what, this college never had uh, this opportunity, you know, for the last 20-some years. So. Tell us a little bit about you and your career at Wilkes Community College and what you kind of got planned for this automotive program here at Southeastern. Okay, so automotive was kind of in my life. Uh, both grandparents were in the automotive field. One owned an automotive shop and then the other one owned a salvage yard. Oh, wow. And uh, I spent all of my summers in that salvage yard. There you go. Now, this is in Massachusetts, not here. Right, but, right. But a lot of time with vehicles. That's uh, great. That's great. Father, uncles worked on cars and it just kind of got me into it. So I went to uh, Wilkes Community College, got my two-year associate degree, and then uh, a few years later, after working at Chevrolet, they wanted me over there teaching. So That's I went and joined the crew, taught for 14 and a half years. That's fantastic. And you had you taught uh, the basic uh, automotive where you can get a certificate, diploma, and a degree, right? Yes. I think y'all had all three, and that's our intentions here. Um, you also had a really well-known uh, dual credit program for high school students. I think you helped develop some of that, right? I helped with it. Uh, Hardin Kennedy had a little bit more to do than I did, but I was part of it and I had to oversee the instructors. Right. And we had four separate programs, all of them at the high schools. So we had instructors there teaching college courses on the high school campuses. That's fantastic. Well, and in here, indeed, as you, well, you know, uh, you've started building those relationships with our county schools and with our city school, uh, because they have automotive program, mm -hmm. and I think uh, you're to the point now where uh, we, we are working with them to have some transfer credit from the courses that they're teaching at the high school to come into the college. Is that correct? Tell yes, me a little that, bit about that. That's the plan. Uh, we haven't gotten into it a whole lot yet, but it looks like uh, they definitely have one that'll take care of uh, our intro to transportation for sure and then we'll just have to kind of go from there. That's fantastic, you know, and I think you, you saw this in your 14 year career at Wilkes. It's, it's so important for us to uh, create that pipeline. And, you know, the days of you and I doing mechanic work and growing up in the, in the junkyard, and, or like I did in the gas station, really doesn't exist a lot as it once did. And so for these high school programs, it's really a way for these students specifically to transition to you here at the community college to really get that advanced training that the high schools uh, may not be able to do because of time, but I know that for us, that, that next level of training is so important for these students because it, it places them in a job work opportunity within our community. And the community mm -hmm. really is gonna benefit from it. But two, it's taking that student to that next level, like, for example, hybrid electric vehicles. Now you have an extensive background in this. Tell us about what that next level training might be. How does it look different from high school to what you may be delivering here in, in the college? Well, it kind of depends on the high schools. I haven't seen yet quite what they're doing, but I suspect that there's not a whole lot of it. So we'll kind of have to start from scratch, right. you know, and. There's been a lot of reluctance to go to hybrid and electric vehicles, but I'm sorry, it's here. It's coming that's more right. and more. We have no choice but to embrace it. And that's one of the things that's really interested me. So I have spent quite a bit of time with it. Haven't had an electric car yet, you know. Right. I'm hoping uh, you can get me one. That would be really nice. But now but, here uh, you've built a Jeep. Yes. That's kind of electric, solar electric powered, Jeep. right? I asked for an electric vehicle. I was promised it and something like five years went by. I'm not waiting anymore. So you that was the own. only thing I could afford, so I built my own. That yes. is fantastic. I love to see that you know, here for the students and them getting involved well, and being able to build be some here. stuff. That is great. Well, you know, the, like I said, the, the days of growing up in a gas station or a junkyard and doing that uh, backyard mechanic, 
Those days are gone. It just hard, doesn't exist anymore. There's a lot of scan tool operation, the hybrid electric technology has changed so much on cars. Well, times have changed, and I think a lot of it, cell phones and everything else, we're so fast paced. Parents don't have time to spend with their kids anymore. Yeah. So they're not getting that one-on-one -on -one with their parents right. like we did when we were young. Yeah. And they're so busy, they have to work. A lot of them work in multiple jobs to make ends meet. That's right. They just don't have that time anymore. So a lot of the students, and another thing too, just like our bicycles, our toys, we fixed them. That's right. Now it's so cheap, you throw them away and you get another one. Well, so even now we have electric even, bicycles. Yeah, so, so they're not really even repairing them anymore. That's so right. they don't have that hands-on like we did. Right. So we've got to introduce it to them. And at the high school level or even sooner is really where we need to do it. At. Well, we know that that partnership for us with the county schools and the city schools are so critical in creating that pipeline. And we know we've been building that relationship and they're very interested in what we're doing. It's not taken away from their program. It's only advancing their program to take those students to the next level. Exactly. And so that's one, one kind of area. The next is really for that adult, that individual who's graduated high school. Maybe they went out to the field of work and found out, you know what? I need a career. I need something more than a job. I need a career. And they may be looking at automotive systems. And so that might be that 20 year old plus to who knows, 65 year old, you just never know. So talking about that adult piece that's coming in. I know one of the things that you've got coming up soon is through our continuing education, our short term workforce is an intro to auto technology. I believe that starts in September, is that yeah. correct? And so tell us a little bit about your kind of angle on that and delivering training to that adult. It's kind of the same process, but they're getting more of those entry level classes, is that right? Well, now this one is, really entry level you know it's just short like a one day type deal we might talk about more but it's the introduce them to the small things checking your oil changing your oil maybe changing the tire because look at how many people cannot change a tire at the side of the road right so you want to cover some of that basic stuff and right have a little bit of an understanding later on we'll start getting more in depth as right but if, get moving along so with a if a, if we have a 25 year old let's say comes in they apply for the college and they want to do automotive systems technology. They have the choice of choosing a certificate, diploma, or degree. Mm -hmm. And over that two year period, or even in that semester, that student would be able to go through those basic courses and progress up to different levels based on what they want to do. Is that right? Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the coursework. So we know, you know, with ASC, Automotive Service Excellence, if you've ever looked at the blue medallion that you went into your automotive shop, that certifies a technician. They know what they're doing. But there are different levels of training. There's really eight areas, categories, I guess, to, yeah. to uh, automotive training. Kind of give us an overview of what those areas are. And, and that kind of would fill us in on really on what an adult would come in and learn through this program. So what yeah. are some of those areas? So the plan, though, is to become ASC accredited. We're That's not fantastic. right now, we're just starting. So yeah. it takes a little time, but that is the plan. And we will be an ASE program. So we'll have to cover those eight areas. So we're talking about things like steering and suspension, brakes, engine repair, engine performance, automatic transmissions, manual transmissions, yeah. HVAC. Wow. So we have to cover all that. Basically anything mechanical on that car. Bumper to bumper. Bumper to bumper. Bumper we to bumper. We don't you know, do paint and dents in the fenders yet anything right. like that but right. anything bumper to bumper anything inside that keeps the passenger happy you know that's, that's right that's that gets too. them from that's point a to point b they have to be able to stop they have to be able to go and they have to be comfortable that's right and that's we exactly have to cover right. all those areas that's good and we'll add in a couple extra things like state inspections right. and then we have like the intro class right well and that's one of the things that we want students to do is that they we want them to be able to um Come take these, this coursework to eventually get ASE certified. We'd love for them to go get that third party credential. But then also we're offering other credentials. We have this NC3 certifications that we're gonna be offering through Snap-on, um, the national certified credentials. And uh, that just gives that individual that extra certificate that makes them a little bit more employable. Can you talk just a minute about those NC3 certifications that students will come out of? Yeah, so in C3, they partner with Snap-on, and everybody knows Snap-on, I would think. You know, oh, yeah. If you're a gearhead, you know definitely the that's total right. brand. That's right. But, uh, yeah, we'll be working with those, and we will offer the training within the courses here. So when they finish that, as long as they can 
pass everything, then they'll end up with an extra credential. Right. And I don't know how many I'm going to offer. I have about four in my mind to start out with and then probably progress from there. Well, that's fantastic. You know, that's, that's our goal. With any technical training, we want to take that student where they are and take them as far as they can go. And if we can provide those third-party credentials such as NC3 or give them the ability to go out and get that ASC certification, that's just credit for them to really get that higher yes, paying it job. It helps with jobs, you know, you can put it on your, when you go in and fill out your resume and your that's job right. application, that's something else you can add to makes it. A, makes a huge difference. Yes, it does. Well, we're excited, Johnny, so excited to have you here. I just, it's an honor that we've been able to hire you. I hate that we took from a sister community college, but man, we are excited to have you here in Columbus County and know that you're gonna do a fantastic job. This is our first semester. Uh, for a hopefully a long career here at Southeastern Community College. I hope so. Can't wait to come out here and talk to your class and, and just visit with the students, okay? Well, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. Yes, sir. Thank you.